Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless you, Lord. We adore you. We glorify your holy name, O oh God. We thank you for what you have already done. Lord, we step into your word in every humility right now. And we ask, O oh God, that you will release your word unto us. Speak to us. Glorify your name, O oh God. We pray, Lord Almighty, that our ears will be open. And grace will also be released, even to do, O oh God, that we all will be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. All right, if you give me a few minutes of your time, let me quickly share with us this glorious day. Tell your neighbor, arise. arise. Tell somebody else, arise. arise. It is your turn to arise. Get up. Stand up. Rise up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome us to Arise 2023 today. Uh, Arise is our theme package for our anniversary celebrations. And as the Lord has declared, it is the time to arise. It is the time to stand up. It is the time for you to rise up. Let me tell you something very funny. With everybody sitting down, you may not see everybody. But if I ask one person to stand up, everybody will see that person standing up. And that's what happens when God says, Arise. Because as soon as you arise, your light begins to shine. It is not a function of a light now coming in onto you because you already have the light. So when the Bible says arise, shine, it's because the light is already there. But until you get up, that light cannot shine. And so God is calling us forth even as we celebrate this anniversary. Arise, shine. This is the season again to arise. And the Lord will grace you in the mighty name of Jesus. Genesis 13, 17 says, Arise, walk through the land in the length of it and in the breadth of it, and for I will give it unto thee. Yeah. When you arise, you don't arise standing up and remaining there. You arise and you take a step. You arise and you move. You have to move. Tell your neighbor you got to do something. When grace is upon your life, grace does not sleep. Tell your neighbor, grace does not sleep. Grace walks. Grace acts. Grace does something. You know, it's like somebody saying, Father, bless the works of my hands, but you don't have any works on your hands. There is nothing for God to bless if there is nothing that you're doing. God cannot bless nothing. There has to be something that is forthcoming for God to have his blessings too. And so as you arise, you got to walk through the land. Whatever it is you want to claim, walk through it. Speak to it. Tell it, I have come in the name of the Lord Most High. I have come to take possession of what is mine. So arise, walk through the land and the breadth of the land. And God says, I will give you. You cannot take it yourself, but grace of God will deliver it into your hands. I prophesy to somebody as you arise and as you take the next step this year, listen to me, God will bless that project. God will bless that work. God will bless that movement. God will go ahead of you. He will make every crooked way straight. In the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 11 says, And the Lord said unto me, Arise, take thy journey before the people, that they may go in and possess the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give unto them. Let me tell you something. As you arise, you begin to take possession. You cannot take possession while you're sitting down. You take possession only when you advance and when you arise. So this year, arise and begin to take possession. Listen to me. The bigger the possession, the bigger the God that you have. God is not interested in small possessions because you can do that by yourself. But when it is big and you cannot handle it, then God is interested. And so as you arise this year, take possession of whatever God has given unto you. Speak to it. Use your words. Begin to train your mind. Take your mind out of I cannot, I will not, I should not. And put your mind in I can, I will, and I am going to. Yes. Hallelujah. I am going to tell somebody I am able. I am able. And I will. I will. In the name of Jesus. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 2, the Bible says, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan. 
thou and all these people unto the land which I do give unto them. You see here, God is not saying the land that I will. He said, I have already given it unto them. I don't know what God has given unto you, but it is time for you to take possession. Amen. Come on, tell your neighbor, it is time for you to take possession. Because God has already given it unto you. Some of us want to wait. Some of us want to sit down. Some of us want it to be delivered to us on a platter of gold. Listen to me. If you don't work for it, you can't earn it. If you, if you don't earn it, you can't appreciate it. And that's why God, most of the time, will not give it to you until you have worked for it. Because whatever you work for, guess what? When you get it, what do you do? You appreciate it. I remember when my daughter got her first check and Uncle Sam took his own. The famous Uncle Sam. All of us know Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam does not joke. He won't even let it get to your hand before he takes his own share. I know she had already been budgeting on the amount she was expecting. And alas, somebody say alas. By the time he came, Uncle Sam had removed. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. What you, what you don't plan for, what you budget for, and you don't put God in the budget, guess what? You will be disappointed. Can I say that again? What you budget for, that you don't put God in that plan, when it comes to pass, you will be disappointed. And I'll tell you why. If you don't give God, the devil will take. They tell your neighbor there is no escape. Somebody is going to take. So now it's up to you to determine who gets it. Because if God does not get it, be rest assured. The devil is waiting. And he's going to take more than you could have given to God. And so when you arise and you begin to take possession of that which is bigger than you, listen to me, understand and appreciate the goodness of God. Give to God the glory that is due unto his name. Give to God his portion as you step up. In the name of Jesus. Judges 7, 9, 2 or 3 more and then I'll close. Bible says, and it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, arise, get thee down into the host for I have delivered it into thine hands. Sometimes some things that we are afraid of God has already delivered into our hands. This was, this was a man that was a warrior, but he was afraid. He thought he did not have the strength, Gideon. He thought he did not have the strength. And so he laid back. And he was wondering. And God said, go in this your strength. And the man was still doubting. And God gave him a dream in the night. And in the dream, he saw things. And then again, he still doubted. Then God said, okay, rise up with some of your servants, two of them, and go over to the land. And they went and they heard the people already submitting and afraid of what was to come. Sometimes the enemy is already afraid of you. But you know what? Sometimes the enemy is more courageous than us. The enemy in his fear will still show courage. But we children of God not realizing who is backing us up, we fear as soon as we face uh, tribulations and trials. Let me tell you something. Tribulations and trials are not there to drown you. They are only there to make you a better person. Until you go through, you cannot get to. Getting to requires you going through. And that's the plan of God. Because when you go through, God sheds you from you. Tell your neighbor, am I the one holding myself back? Come on, tell yourself and tell your neighbor, am I the one holding myself back? Lord, prune me. Take me away from me. And put you in me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. First Kings 17, 9. Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon. And dwell there, behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. This was in the time of famine. And everywhere was dry. There was no food. There was no water. But God already had a provision. Somebody say, God already has a provision. No matter what the economy of the world is saying, for as long as you are a child of God, God already has your provision. He already has your provision. In that time when everything was scarce, God said, Arise, go to the land of Zarephath. He said, I have commanded a widow. Can you imagine? The most, the most unexpected provision 
from the most unexpected place. God said, that's where I have your provision. And he said, go. Find where God has put your provision. Sit there. Receive from there. And you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. There is a provision for you. The situations of the world is not your portion. Guess what? Can I tell you something? You are an ambassador of heaven. So the laws of the land, guess what? They don't apply to you because you are an ambassador. But if you see yourself as part of this world, then the laws apply to you. Uh, whatever goes wrong in the world goes wrong with you. But if you are, if you are from heaven, represented, representing heaven, it doesn't. You know why? Uh, as an ambassador, in, in your car, in your official vehicle, even the police cannot stop you. You have what is called diplomatic immunity. Is that not so? When they say, oh, nobody does that and you do it, hmm, tell your neighbor, diplomatic immunity. Come on, tell somebody, I got diplomatic immunity. I have heaven's diplomatic immunity. So the devil, listen carefully, the devil cannot oppress you because you already have immunity. The devil cannot disturb your life because you already have immunity. The devil cannot take away the blessings of God from you because you have immunity. You have diplomatic immunity. See that? And lastly, I'm going to close with this. 2 Kings chapter 1 verse 3. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say unto them, Is it not because there is not a God in Israel that you go to inquire of Baalzebub, the God of Ekron? Let me tell you something. Tell your neighbor there is a God in Israel. Now, put your family name or your own name and say, There is a God in my house. I'm not hearing anybody say there is a God in my house. There is a God. There is God. Okay, let's do it this way. It is not there is a. There is God in my house. In the house of the Oyeusis. There is God dwelling there. In our hearts, there is God dwelling there. In our lives, there is God dwelling there. God has his habitation in our home. Hallelujah. God lives and dwells in our home. Hallelujah. We serve a living God. We confess Jesus as Lord boldly. We don't hide it. And so there's a God. And we see the manifestation of that God. As we enter into the season of our rise, let me tell you something. You will see the manifestation of God. You will see the glory of God. You will see the mighty hand of God. You will be fruitful. You will multiply. Everything you lay your hands upon will prosper. The grace of God will come upon your life. The speed of the most high will begin to manifest in all that you do. In the name of Jesus. Where man says no, God says yes, sir. When men try to close the door, God bulldozes it for you. Every man that will speak against you will find themselves speaking for you. In the name of Jesus. This is your season of arising. This is your season of favor. The Bible says, for the set time to favor Zion is now. Yea, it is the set time. This is your time of favor. This is your time of lifting. This is your time of joy. This is your time of abundance. This is your time of fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus. No weapon, spiritual or physical, that is formed or fashioned against you will prosper. Every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment, I condemn them today. In the name of Jesus. I decree, listen carefully. You will not see the wind. You will not see the rain. But the valley shall be filled. In this year that we have entered into, the valleys of your life shall be filled. With abundance, with provision, with everything that you need. In the name of Jesus. Arise! 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him. Rise up on your feet. Let's praise him, let's praise him. Hallelujah. Praise the King of glory. Open your mouth and praise him. Praise him. I don't know what you're believing God for. Listen, listen, listen. Whatever it is, just say, Lord, I thank you for this. That's all. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. For as we enter into the season of arise, Lord, I thank you that I receive this. 
in my life, in my children, in my family, in the ministry. Lord, we thank you, God. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor and adoration. Thank you, Jehovah God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, O oh God. We bless you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.